right, hello everybody. It's me, Julia, and uh, today I'm gonna make another Julia vs. the Abstract Concept of Cooking video. But we're gonna do things a little bit differently today for a couple of reasons. One, we're actually gonna cook something instead of baking. We're making dumplings at the request of my friend. And two, I'm not using a recipe because I was looking at all the recipes and I just wasn't feeling their ingredients, so I'm gonna make up my own ingredients. And uh, one of those ingredients is pulled pork, which I could not find at the store the other day, and so we need to go on a pulled pork quest. So, the third thing that we're doing differently today is that I thought we could do a grocery store quest and see how that goes. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go! I was just walking down the uh, condiment aisle here and I realized I should probably pick up some barbecue sauce if I don't want to cook all the flavor out of our pulled pork. Alright, to the meat section, I hope. Alright, well, I finally, sorry, I finally found some pulled pork. However, the only pulled pork I've found is this, which comes with Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. It sounds like a lot, but I guess I'm going to have to put back the Sweet Baby Ray's, which sounds more delicious, but this is the only pulled pork I can find. Alright, to the checkout. We're back in the kitchen. I'm not gonna do my whole intro thing because I already did that, but uh, in case you've forgotten, we're doing dumplings with no recipe because I'm just, I've, I've gone mad with power. So uh, I guess I'll show you my proposed ingredients for the dumplings. All right, today we will be using flour, pulled pork, onions, apples, and you know what, now that I think about it, we're probably going to need some olive oil for the onions, so those are my proposed ingredients. I know it's a little wild, but we're going to give it a try. Alright, first things first, we're going to have to peel the onions. Alright, and presto, freshly peeled onions. Now we need to cut them into tiny strips for caramelization type reasons. Gosh, cutting the onions took forever. The rest, uh, not the recipe, but like the, the instructions said, oh, it'll only take like 10 minutes, but you should add an extra 15 minutes for <gasps> oh my eyes type breaks. Now we are going to add some olive oil to this pan and we're gonna make the onions be a different color. Okay, so the instructions said to put the oil in the pan and then Set it to medium until it was shimmering, and then add the onions. Don't do that! Because I'm sure it will surprise absolutely no one that I burned my hand on oil. <laughs> All right, anyway, we're gonna let those cook, keep an eye on them for like 10 minutes. Uh, while that's happening, I think I'm going to uh, slice up the apples. Okay, pardon me, I must interrupt that apple montage because the onions are starting to smell like they're burning and they look kind of brownish, so I'm gonna call that good. Alright, now back to your regularly scheduled apple montage. Alright, boom, apples. We're halfway there. Alright, now that we've got our onions, apples, and our pulled pork. I'm gonna mix these all together so we can, uh, you know, have a, have a little dumpling mush filling bowl. Alright, so here we have two cups of flour, and I got three quarter cup of water over here. So it says get a wooden spoon, so wooden spoon. Alright, so then it says make a well. And basically mix the water. 
and the dough as evenly as possible. So let's give that a go. That looks pretty good, I guess. Let's let's try working with this. Uh, here we have the dough. Put on some parchment paper, and uh, this says it's supposed to be enough dough for like 36 dumplings. So we're probably supposed to make them pretty thin. So I'm just gonna see see where see where the the, the cooking takes me. You know, just sort of see what happens. All right, let's see. Sticky. Okay, this is far, far too sticky. So I think I've missed, I've, mi I've missed something. Um, let me try to investigate what I'm actually supposed to be doing next. Ah, oh boy. Okay. All right, after some investigation, so we're supposed to knead it ah! for like two minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna put it in a bag. For a while. Hmm. All right. Well, it's starting to feel a little more. Uh, gosh, I don't know how to describe it. Girthy, more girthy, a little less um, just plain sticky. It's meant to be it. All right, let me see if I can detach my fingers from this. Oh, come on, come on. Ugh. Maybe parchment paper wasn't actually the best choice for this. All right, well, the next step was apparently to put it in this bag for 15 minutes to two hours, which is a pretty hilariously ridiculous uh, time window, so I think I'm going to do like an hour and a half because I think that this dough really needs whatever process is about to happen. Alright, so I have a new plan. It's been an hour and a half-ish, I don't know. Uh, and so my new plan involves flour. So I put a bunch of flour in this bowl and we're going to uh, see how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to film, I think I'm going to not film that part and just check in with you later because uh, dough and camera led to me having to clean my camera. Uh, so our flower strategy seems to have worked, it doesn't stick to my hands, it's the right texture, I guess, according to the recipe that I found. None of the recipes really tell me how I'm supposed to cook them, so I guess we're just gonna have to wing it. All right, let's make tiny circles. You know what? These are not actually looking too bad. I tried to flip them with a spatula, but you know, tongs seem to be working best because they kind of get a little crispier around the edge, and then you can grab you can grab the crispy edge. All right. Good evening, family. Hi. Hello, dear. I made dumplings. This was a real risk, and you know what? I think it might have paid off. They seem flat and burned. Rude. Try what? You need to reduce the temperature of the oil a little bit. Too greasy? So, yeah, it's a little greasy. It's a little greasy. Well, it's all the oil. But so, this filling is worth it. This filling is worth it. You need to refine this recipe here. Mm. Well, I made way, way too much filling, so I think we might be eating dumplings for a while. <laughs> it's 
Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ah! Let's try the steamed. I don't know how to steam. All the recipes that I looked at for making the dough were just like, and then it's ready to cook. And I'm like, but how? So I just, I took a risk. I went with fried. I feel like this succeeded in spite of that. It's the sweetest thing you ever said to me. I really thought this wasn't going to work out, but you know what? I is the human personification of the after concept of cooking. Mm hmm Lose. Ha! Take that abstract concept. Alright, should we do the end screen? Bam! No, that yeah. wasn't nice. Okay. Let's do it again. One, two, end screen!